it's Robbie from Amped Airsoft again. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial or an in-depth tutorial on how to install your poppet chins on your poppet valve. Since we released the poppet valve demonstration uh, on the on the poppet shims on the low flow valves, people have sent, in, uh, sent us in quite a lot of requests on how to do it. It's very, very simple, but I figured I'd throw together a video just to help you guys out and give you a visual on what to do. So I guess we'll get started. First thing we need, obviously, you need your poppet valve and you also need your shims. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to be using an orange and a white shim. But you, once again, any combination can be used. You're gonna to have to experiment with it yourself. Every gun is a little different. Next, you're gonna need two adjustable crescent wrenches to get your pop valve apart. And you are also going to need your choice of blue or purple thread locker or Loctite. Once again, I always recommend the Loctite specific brand, but other thread locker will work. Just make sure it's not the red or the equivalent to the red. Otherwise, you will never be able to get your uh, pop valve apart again, which is bad. You also need some sort of Tech-T. We, we use the Tech-T gun sap grease. Any paintball grease or any non-petroleum uh, based grease will work. We like the Tech Sav the most. Uh, once again, it has a very thick consistency which helps you know stay on the stay on the O-rings where they're supposed to be and it keeps everything lubricated for longer than say like a liquid based paintball grease will. So now we're gonna head over to the tech room and actually disassemble the poppet valve. So first thing you're gonna wanna do, I'm gonna for the purpose of the video, I'm actually gonna lock one of the sides up in the vise, but you can this is this is this is one of the jobs of the crescent wrenches. Then I'm gonna take my crescent wrench here and begin to unscrew the cap on the poppet valve. Once I'm done unscrewing that, the cap will pop off, which has an O-ring attached to it, and then there is a sleeve, sleeve or collar that you need to pull off, which has an O-ring on the inside of it that you will need to lubricate later. Now, this is where the poppet shims come in handy. All you're gonna wanna do is slide one of your poppet shims over that, over that nozzle section, and then you're just gonna go ahead and put everything back together. So we're gonna put that collar back on after lubricating the collar section. You can lubricate the inside of the collar, or I just like to throw a little bit on my finger and lubricate the valve itself, and then throw the collar over it. Then we're going to go ahead and apply our blue thread locker. You just need a little bit, and then we're going to wipe off the excess. Then we're going to screw back on the cap, make sure it's hand tight, and that's pretty much it. You're good to go. If you have any other questions regarding how to get to this point, check out our other poppet video. I did a little while back, but it shows you how to get the poppet out of the gun, and that way that'll tie right in really well with this video because it shows you how to take apart the poppet valve itself. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please check us out on Facebook and give us a like. Also, give us, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like and share the video. It really helps. I'm trying to get all the support I can. I'm really trying to make these videos, you know, as, as good as I possibly can for you guys. <clears throat> so thank you. We really appreciate all your support. Uh, this has been Robbie once again. Have a good night, guys.